when reports came to light earlier this year that BMA members and staff were being subject to sexist behaviour, we were appalled. On behalf of the Association, I want to offer my heartfelt apologies to all of those who have been affected by these behaviours. I committed to a fully independent review into these concerns, led by Daphne Romney QC, that was also asked to make recommendations to address gender bias and harassment in the BMA. Today, we have published detailed findings and the recommendations of the Romney Review, and we are determined to learn from them and to make the necessary changes to ensure we are an inclusive association. This report is an important contribution in our journey to achieve positive change within the BMA and the wider NHS. However, the unacceptable behaviours described early this year required immediate action and I want to reassure you of the steps we have already taken. I'm pleased to say that we've already started implementing some of the recommendations, including changes to the way in which members and staff can safely and effectively raise concerns. To underpin the cultural changes needed in the BMA, I've recently launched our Equality Matters project that will offer bespoke training to both members and staff. We're also working in partnership with the Medical Women's Federation using their vast experience in championing the role of women in medicine. And I'm pleased we will be holding our first BMA WMF conference next month. The BMA is committed to strengthening our representation and the role of women in the association, as well as addressing underrepresentation across all diversity strands. And to assist members in raising concerns, we have introduced a new 24 hour support line so members can speak confidentially to someone and also an independent complaints investigation process carried out by an external firm. As the BMA's new Chief Executive Officer, I'm determined to tackle these cultural issues and this report gives us the clear recommendations to do that. And I want to go one step further than recommendations and introduce a guardian of safe working for all involved at the BMA. I want the BMA to be a place where staff and members feel valued and respected for who they are and what they do. As the only medical organisation that represents doctors and medical students from across the entire breadth of the profession, we are unique in being able to provide our members with a collective voice. But to be heard, we must be representative of the entire profession, which is why I want any doctor and medical student from any background in any part of the NHS or medical schools to feel they can be an inclusive part of the BMA. Today's report and recommendations will play a key role as we make this change.